Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent, and today we are on episode 290 of the Death Walk Through. Today we are in Sweetsburg. We are going into Bonbon Mod um, to see what's in there. Um, if you haven't watched last episode, you should. Um, yeah, and let's just head right in because that, that's all we need to do. Hopefully, this doesn't go too poorly. What do we got in here? So. We are supposed to stop the wizard from making more cavities, yeah? Yeah, but the chicken guy, he is the one who asked us to do it. And is making earthquakes not kind of his thing? Yeah, but the earthquakes, they make the ground cracks, not the cavities. That is different, and probably worse. Ah, beats working the double shifts in the Gumi plant, I guess. And hey, there's the wizard now. This'll be quick. Uh-huh. Right. Gnome Enforcers. Really cute. Again, everything just magically disappears as we saw last episode. Kind of crazy how that happens. Kind of weird. Um, but yeah, right. These guys don't look too bad. They are myth and fire. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Right. Hopefully this kills. We will see. I'm um, not sure if it will, but we will try. As I said, these guys are not that difficult. We did kill, which is fantastic. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't really worry about them. He didn't even use Earthquake on me. I was quite sad. I was expecting it. And I even gave him an extra round to do it, and he didn't. You will not stop the ground crack guy from stopping you from making the ground holes or something. Um, okay. Okie dokie then. That's far enough, wizard. You may have destroyed the old one and defeated Medulla and Vanitas and Duncan Grimwater and Lady Dark Kettle and Killer Croc, Lepinguan, Poison Oak, Bane, Cat Lady, Grandfather Spider and his shadow children. But now you got to deal with me. Oh, no, I am so scared. What on earth could happen here? Oh, no. Again, some of the boxes removed. It's kind of weird how just you, things just get removed while you're in fights. It's kind of weird, and they just magically appear afterwards. But hey, these guys are not too bad. They are balanced, um, slightly more complicated, but not really. They're just mobs. So yeah, I'll be back in just a bit. Right. Killing. Not too bad. These guys, super easy. Super duper easy. Um, we have Lulu as well. We got Shad first round, as you saw, so pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, yeah, we boost on them, obviously, because they're balanced. So, yeah, you know, we we just good. We just good, I guess. Just how it be. Also, I feel like... I expected I... that to get better. Just wait until I get new gear. Improve my skills. Learn new spells. Get a pet. Maybe do some gardening. Then you'll be sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you get new gear. Boy, you get them. I think you need to farm a bit more. I feel like my... I don't know what it is, but my texture detail looks so bad. Let's just change it back to high and we'll see what happens. It just looks so bad. Why'd you do it, wizard? Why'd you snooker us like that? Is it cause all those times the cabal betrayed you? If and so, that's pity. You're pity. The old one would have ushered in a golden age and not trying to peck each other's eyes out. But you went and rejected him. So fine, partner. Have it your way. Let's get back to basics. Okie dokie. I don't know. Actually, we might put an indemnity in. Um, just in case. Because I don't know if faint is going to be allowed. It may not be allowed. So we'll see. Blades may not be allowed either, knowing that he's a myth. Um, but hey, <laughs> we will see what happens here. Right, we are going to go for the same setup as normal. We're going to try a pet faint first. See what happens. Maybe it'll be removed. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Not me, that's for sure. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but yeah, I don't think he's going to be too difficult. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Hopefully. I could be speaking way too soon. Um, because I did do this with the team. But it wasn't too bad when I did it in test drum. So hopefully they haven't, like, done anything crazy. Oh, okay. So it does a earthquake. Interesting. Interesting. Um... I can't, I don't think this is a faint cheat. I think this is just a cheat that happens occasionally. Um, which makes sense, but he doesn't remove faints, or at least pet faints. So we'll see if he removes a potent faint. If not, we're just going to um, faint until we can hit, which I think is a good idea. think that's a good idea. Um, but yeah, I would assume from his name that you may not be able to blade as much. Um, obviously, he earthquakes occasionally. I don't know if that's every round, every second round. Just randomly when he feels like it. Um, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? 
guess we will find out, but it looks like feints are appropriate for this. So it's not a faint cheat, that's good to know. Um, I didn't think it would be, but you never know. You just never know these days. Um, right, let's faint again, I guess. Well, we might even get mass faint, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool if we can get mass faint, because that is on our pet. Is a make us, so it might happen. Okay, that did a lot of damage. That was a little bit hurty. That did the hurty hurt. We don't appreciate that. Um, he does have a Shadow Pip as well. Slightly worrying. Slightly worrying. Don't want to see making... Making with the Quacken. Ooh, okay. A balance dot. You don't see balance dots often. You really... Oh. You really don't. Um, right, let's go for... I kind of just want to hit. Like, I really do, but I need a blade before a Scarecrow. I want a Scarecrow. I don't want a Ship of Fools because that's just a waste of damage. A waste of damage there. Plus or minus 25. Just as well we did this. Woo! Okay, what is this? Okay, just a natural attack. That's fine. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. Um, Yeah, that hurt a lot. <sighs> natural attacks are still... Oh, okay. It does a detonate or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the heck. Some of these cheats are just a little bit weird, and I don't use the wiki at the moment because it's not very updated either, so I just have no idea what's really happening at all. You're kind of just like seeing if I can remember what happened in Test Run, which was so many weeks ago because I played through this on the first day that it was out. Um, seeing if I can actually remember what happens here, please. Don't be stupid. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is fine. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. We're going to kill at least the boss, I would say. Um, the minion will definitely most likely die as well, unless the weakness does something. But if it does, we can always ship of all. No, we, we killed. That's fine. That is fine. Nearly full health as well, which is epic. And this should for sure kill. Yep, that did way too much damage. Way too much. We didn't even need to do that much. But hey, we did it. That's all that matters. We did it. If you're accusing me of opening that cavity, don't that beat all. Why? Because... I know earth manipulation, because I was talking about cavities. Shoot, I was using my knowledge of earth manipulation to find out from the locals if cavities are a normal thing here. They ain't by and by. I believed in the old one's dream. Never cottoned to no spider. Never thought he'd restore the first world. I wanted a better way. You don't believe me, do you? Fair enough. Don't know I believe you neither. Ponder this, though. If neither of us opened the cavity, who did? That was weird. Um, <laughs> there's a little bit of a log, but yeah, we also got two badges. One for defeating this man's, and also one for soloing, which is the um, Quake Goat, um, greatest of all time, because I am the greatest of all time. If you didn't know, I am I'm great and of all time. So yeah, I love this security camera and, and Nana is watching you. It's probably my favorite addition to um Caramel. Just these random things with like Nana is watching you just below a security camera of Nana. Um, <laughs> definitely not unsettling at all. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. But yeah, we managed to solo that. Not too bad. I don't think that's a particularly hard fight to um, solo. So you, you can probably do it. I believe in you guys. I believe. Also, we got a new mount. Huh. Seals up, plant! Seals up, plant! Yeah! I'm just collecting parchment and they just start talking, jeez. Salute, customer! Uh, how are you doing? All is well here, uh, donker to you. Yeah, indeed, all is well. Well, it is. Nana has uh, just come to assure us the gummy plant is safe now. Is, is that not wonderful? What about all the sour gummies, huh? Shush, shush. I told you they must have run out of juice by now. This is just witchy hocus pocus. Do not let them destroy our happiness initiative. And what about the people you have already sent in? Only one came back out, screaming about a giant hole. The others are at work, singing and smiling and having a time. The unfortunate one you speak of has already been diagnosed as cursed by witches. I do not buy this. Someone needs to go in there and see what is the dust with the big hole. Someone brave. Someone noble. Someone else. 
Hmm, it looks like a job for us, I guess. Okie dokie, let's head into the factory again and see what is a, a foot here, I guess. Is that what you say? Oh, look, there's a hole. Wow, who would have thought that there is a hole? That is a big hole. What do you think makes a hole like that? Someone called the Quake Charmer, you say? You don't sound sure. Or it could be copycat, Judge Veg, or Witches. Quite a lot of suspects you have there. Have you considered a kitchen sink might be to blame? It is strange, though. Like the earth itself just rotted away, dissolved under... what? This plant has a lot of problems. You must convince Nana not to reopen it. Photomancing the dangers should be the proof she needs. And if you get me some gummy samples from the sour worms, perhaps I can help you unravel what corrupted them. Call me Greta. I will wait outside. That was a lot of dialogue just to take in from this this mall that we just learnt about just now. Um, but yeah, Zeta photo man, it's normal camera. Um, you've got to take a photo of the cavity. Um, I quite like how we're using thing. I don't know. I don't understand why it says press Z to photo mance, but I guess it's for those people who don't know. Um, we're going to just quickly take a photo of a Gumi worm. Um, I already have these already on, on this character, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have to do it again. Um, I will be back once I've defeated a Gumi worm um, and got some samples. Right. I am back. Not too bad. Here we go. Killing. Hopefully we get the sample. Huh, that would be fantastic. We, we definitely killed, so please give me the sample. I've done so much hard work of like two rounds. Please, please give me a sample. Please, please, please. Yeah, we got it, nice. Nice, right, let's talk to Nana in Sweetsburg who is just out here, just outside the doors of the factory and see what Nana is cooking up for us now. Hello there, sweetie. Oh, don't let this little vat worry you. Everybody here will be back to work on your favorite treats in the no time. Oh my, what is this? Pictures for Nana? How sweet. Oh, oh dear. Oh, yikes. I, I, I mean, well, this certainly changes things. Nana takes care of her employees. I will report this situation to my managers and they will ensure this matter is handled appropriately. But rest assured, you are all still employed. We will reassign you if need be. And for now, everyone here gets a 2% credit at every Nana brand store. I must say, even with everything going on, that Nana is the true class act. I am proud to work for someone like that. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Right, Greta, what do you have to say about this situation? They really eat it up, do they not? Almost like her words were smothered in syrup. I came here to look into the sour gummies. That is why I was in the plant when you found me. I know they are not an isolated problem. The people I represent are getting concerned. We have a serious to the cause, but we need more data. Thus, gummy samples from every town. My brother Hans went to check on the gummies in the chocolate mines of Nibelheim. I'm going to meet up with him there. Come with if you want, or don't. It does not matter to me. But if you want to end the madness, then you must go to the Goomdrop Forest. Right, let us follow Greta into the Goomdrop Forest. That's just a wooden chest. If it was a silver chest, I'd probably consider doing it. But it's just wooden, so it's fine. Right, Goomdrop Forest. Haha. -ha. And Nibelheim, from memory, is this way. It's as if I've done this before. Haha, <laughs> maybe I have. Who knows? You will never know. Um, but yeah, we're actually getting a lot of snack attacks. How many do we have now? How many snack attacks do we have now? Let's find out. We have four. No, that's... We have 13. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Decided to come with me, yeah? But one cannot just walk into Nibelheim these days. There are a few essentials we need to gather first. It will go much faster if you help me. First, we need to collect some of the peppermint posies that grow around here. Should be easy. The harder task is acquiring the very special honey you can only get from honey badgers. Yes, those are honey badgers. What were you expecting, little cute things? No, they are mean. They are monsters, and they will eat your face. So be careful. Once we have enough honey and posies, I can take you to Nibelheim. Right, let's quickly get some posies, because they're just chilling around here. They're in Testrom. It was very difficult to find them. Um, they don't shop on the map, and they also do not have, like, a quest help arrow. So, yeah, this is going to be a great place for fishing, like caramel fishing. Oh, it's going to be so good. 
if only we can get Polaris fishing first, you know, because that's the next world to get fishing. Um, generally, in my opinion, at least it should be. And then Mirage, and then Imperia, and then finally Caramel in like 5 million years. Um, but yeah, this would be such a nice place to do some Caramel fishing. It would be fantastic. Catching candy fish. Imagine that. Imagine that. Right, three. I think there's some up here somewhere by the Marshfellow. My favorite boys. My favorites. My favorites. I think we need to go another way. Another way. These, like I said, these are kind of difficult to find. Kind of difficult to find. Not, not going to lie. Oh, there's one over here. One over here. Two over here. Nice. Let's just go for a bit of an explore. I haven't really looked around much in this area. Because there's a lot. We looked around the first, like, the bit over the other side, that side there, in test, test round. But this way... I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, where does this path go? I don't know. I assume it just goes down. Oh, there's the, um, there's the man's, the lemon head for the Zeke quest here. Um, let's head back up and see. We need one more. One more. Surely one's respawned by now. Surely. There, yeah, there we go. They don't respawn too slowly, which is good. Um, right. I'll be back once I've defeated a honey badger or five and collected some gum honey. Honey, yes. Right, I am wow, back. look at you. Still have a face. And we have enough honey and posies now to get into Nibelheim. Though that is still going to be a little tricky. The company does not like its valued customers visiting Nibelheim. Fortunately, I know the secret path into town through some old pipelines. But be careful, there could be anything down there. Right, let us head down to Nibelheim through this really scary cave looking thing that that's probably not scary but it could be who knows um i know exactly what's in here and it is not really scary but hey we're going down it we're going down it because that sounds like a fantastic idea because we are getting to nibbleheim today it's just a mission that i'm on now absolute mission oh it looks like some of the creatures from outside found their way down here we will have to push through this is so sad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> so sad. I have to defeat them again. No. Right, I'll be back once I've defeated these mush fellow. Right, I am back. Here we go, defeating these mush fellow. I feel so bad when I have to do this. They're so cute and adorable and their sounds are just so nice. Except I didn't kill. This is so sad. How, how did Mans not die? I don't even know. Mans is alive though. I guess we have to finish him off with... um. Something different. <laughs> Something else, I guess. I guess we're going to have to wait for a um, ship of fools to pop up, which will be in one round. Look how cute they are. Their sounds are just so adorable, and I love them. I love them so much. I don't like defeating these guys. This is so sad. Like, this is this is the saddest thing in the game, defeating these poor wee marsh fellows. I don't like it. Their casting sound is so cute. They're like, oh, I love them. I love them so much. I really, really love them. I, I apologize that you have to hear me every time we see them, that they're so cute, but they're just adorable and I love them. They're just the cutest things that I think are in the game. I don't know why, but they're just cute and I love them so much. Right, hopefully the ship of fools doesn't hurt too much, but does enough to get me out of this fight because I don't like seeing them in combat. Because it brings a tear to my eye. I was nearly crying once I finished the previous the previous recording of the last clip. It was very sad. Because, you know, the thought of harming these poor innocent marshmallows is just way too much for me. Way too much. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. But it's for your own good. You have to go back to your friend. Come on. This way. This way. Let's go. Oh, we're getting some suspenseful music here. Oh, no. Oh. Halt, valued customer. This place is off limits. Please return to Caramel City and its many wonderful shops. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but actually, no. We're not going to do that. Right, let's do this. Um, I'll be back once I've defeated these guys. They are death, so I did pack a mass prism. They're rank 17. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, just another mob fight. I'll be back in just a little bit. Hello, I am back. We we are killing. We be killing these Watchmer thingies. Is that what they're called? I'm pretty sure. I, th I think that's what they're called. Watchmer thingies or thingy more watts. 
Watch my thingies. Yeah, watch my thingies. I'm correct. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm. I know what I'm saying. I just completely guessed that. Um, and they're right. Those were virtual golems. Oh. Drones made of nougat, caramel, crispies, and reinforced steel. Gummies are made for work. These for security. Nana also makes a fortune cookie messaging service, bubblegum industrial adhesive, and yogurt go karts. You know, yogos. So sugars of caramel are actually a versatile element, and Nana uses them in everything. Now, come on, we're almost in Nibelheim. Right, watch my golems, not watch my thingies or watch my call them. Watch my golems, because yes, it makes sense. Great cinnamon rolls. Be careful, they have a bite. Right, we're gonna do this on camera because I'm sick of just, you know, just doing fights off camera. Right! Cinnamon trolls, these guys are not too bad. They are mythos, so be careful. Also, there's three of them, so, huh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Well, of course, I did not get any blades. Wow, makes complete sense. Said no one ever. So sad. They like to cast death shields, or not death shields, but shields. Um, they probably do have a death shield. I think they do, from memory, from test drum. Um, it's not cool. They have the either shield or whatever it's called the myth the life and the death one And they also have myth shields, so like they can just really screw you over Still didn't get a blade very upsetting very very upsetting here Please please give me blade game. I, I just want one blade, please please <clears throat> Maybe it's a sign that they're gonna earthquake me right now. I bet that's what it is. No, he fizzled. That's a shame It's a big shame. Maybe they're gonna earthquake me now Still didn't get a black. Right, we're just gonna hit and see what happens. <laughs> we're just gonna go for it, I guess. We'll go for a Lulu and then we'll follow it up with a Ship of Fools and that should probably kill. Um, if it doesn't, I'd be very surprised. But yeah, we gotta improvise because I don't know, I don't even know what they're trying to do. Um, I assume it's removing a shield, but I don't got shield. I ain't got them shields. I ain't no wuss. I ain't need no shields. Jeez, who do you think I am? An ice wizard or something? <laughs> Nah, sorry. Sorry, we don't use shields here. We don't know shield. Jeez. Wow, I killed them. I'm so proud of myself. Hi, killed all but one. He must have had a little bit more resist or block or... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works now. I don't know why two of them died, but this one didn't. He didn't even have a death shield. I don't understand it. I really do not understand it, but whatever. Whatever. It's okay. We will just deal with it. We will deal with it, I guess. Right, come on. Please, please, game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, right? We should kill. This should definitely kill. Probably. Maybe. He should do 900 damage, right? Right. Right. Please. Maybe. Possibly. I know you can. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Nice. GG. We did it. Next. Finally, Nibelheim is just through there. Fantastic. Nibelheim. We did it. We did it, guys. We made it to Nibelheim. Isn't that great? I think it is. I think it's fantastic. Let's see what's in Nibelheim. This this is a very depressing place. It, it's so sad. But hey, this is Nibelheim. We are here. I can reactivate this lift to the Goondrop Forest so we can go back later without the tunnel. Now, the holds of glory is at his Nibelheim. Take a deep breath. Smells that aroma around you. That is the salt of the earth you smell. Wow, I can't believe you actually took a breath. Try not to throw up. That vile, acrid stench you're choking on? That is why we stopped in Goomdrop. I have mixed up a poultice of honey and peppermint. Spread a little under your nose, it will block the smell. But will also attract apple brutals. Nasty little vermin. They are incredibly tart. Demonstrate to them you are no easy prey and they will think twice before bothering you. Right, I think this is where we're going to end off for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Welcome to Nibelheim. Um, it's an interesting place. Give me the parchment. Thank you. Um, we'll be here for a long time um, because it's quite a long area. Um, but, yeah, there's a lovely Nana statue, you know, just the normal um, apple brutals, which I'll defeat off camera. Um, but, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to, like, remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I upload another video or the next video on this series or if the series is already over again. Um, another video. But otherwise, remember to craft outside the box.